Hey everybody, Jason here. I hope you're all doing really good. It is time for a little bit of a channel update. Now, whenever I get to the point of this, I know that there's a lot of you that are probably gonna say, you don't have to explain yourself, but honestly, I really feel like I do. And if I don't have to explain myself, I I want to, all right? I have been faced with a little bit of negative feedbacks from some of my like paid product reviews. Now, I didn't get paid to do these reviews. These people sent me tools for me to unbox and, and actually review them. And I've really did my best to, to, to give a good, honest opinion. That, you know, that, that's what I did with these products. Now, 2017, I could afford to buy every single tool that I needed. 2018, I'm still buying the tools that I need, but I'm not really buying the tools that I don't really need. And one of the tools that I haven't really needed up until just like really recently was the, you know, the JCP 11, the really, really expensive tools. So as time has went on, the number of devices that get sent here that are repairable, you know, it, it slowly has declined and it's not really from the, um, it's not really from the natural course of technology. It's more from all the newcomers. It's from all the other shops that are doing it, it's from the repair shops and individuals and things that uh, used to send backlight repairs, used to send, you know, all these more basic repairs that are being done in house. So this isn't really a bad thing. I have always encouraged all of the repair shops to start doing their own in-house micro soldering. Um, but, you know, at the same time, that leaves me with less and less and less of the really straightforward routine gravy jobs. By the time a device gets here for backlight repair, it has almost always been screwed with by two or three different people. It's very rare for me to get something firsthand. So I'm really happy to see everybody's doing really good and I'm happy to see that people are doing this successfully, but at the same time, for me and my business, what it means is a declining bottom line. And that is something that I knew would happen. I didn't expect it really so soon. And I know a lot of you are asking, when are you gonna open up a shop and stuff? And honestly, I'm not, for sure that I'm going to open up like a retail facing repair shop. I think we are going to do a, a commercial facility, but I don't know if I'll go back into retail or, or not, but you know, we'll see. So I guess where I'm going with this is the more that I get comments and suggestions that come in that are trying to make it seem like, you know, people feel like I'm being greedy or helping union repair be greedy or, or helping these other guys be greedy. I'm really, not intentionally trying to do that guys i'm really just trying to help myself and i see an opportunity to latch onto a tool that i really need you know it's a 300 dollars tool they're going to send it here for free and all i got to do is show everybody how it works you know who can say no to that i mean it's the tools that i need so i don't want you to get the wrong impression from this video although i am like really really hungry for lunch and i'm wanting to go eat I'm still very happy with what I do for a living. I'm, I'm happy with putting content on YouTube, but at the same time, I am left with reaching out and trying to develop other revenue streams around this YouTube existence. So um, that is why you're seeing paid product reviews. Um, you will all also notice that I have enabled memberships on the channel uh, down below this video. I think unless you're browsing on, unless you're viewing on an Apple device, um, there's actually a join button now. I enabled that button yesterday, and since then, my subscriber base has just been tanking. Guys, I wanna let you know that my videos are always going to be free. Me turning on memberships is really just trying to enable some other form of revenue to continue to help support this channel. Now, you'll also notice that I've been posting much more often. This is sort of like a New Year's promise that I made to myself in the back of my head, but I didn't announce it because Every time I say something out loud, it, you know, it's for, for whatever reason, it's hard to follow through with. So I just sort of kind of started doing it and I want to let you know that I'm going to continue doing it regardless of how many members I get or uh, regardless of what is sent here. If I no longer get a single viable repair sent here, I will film myself fixing a toaster. I'm going to continue to be here on YouTube and I'm going to continue to post videos and I'm going to continue to tell you all I'm very grateful that you're still watching my stuff. It just, it, it, it really means a lot to me. So I know uh, people won't continue to watch this past 30 seconds and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this short. I just really wanted to do a little bit of explaining as to why it seems like I'm enabling other forms of revenue and like doing things that might bring more money in for myself. I'm not being greedy. This is an act of survival. So thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you soon. Oh, and before I forget, I still have the CPU video lined up to finish. This is the processor that you guys watched me reball. I haven't touched it. And this is the board that I plan on putting it on. Haven't touched it. We'll see how it goes, right? Um, 
I'll be back with this ASAP.